Question 9 of the Tannic Q Corn Ferry Elements Numerical Practice Test. Pause this video and have a go at answering this question. When you're ready, press play again and I'll go through my work solutions with you. I hope you've had a go. If the flower park raised its entrance fee by 5%, what would be the additional daily revenue across the board? So here we have flower park. Here are the diff different types of customers. These are the different entrance fees and these are the visitor numbers for each type of customer. If we wanted to work out the current daily revenue, all we'd have to do is multiply this number here by the corresponding number here and then do the same for this row and this row and just add up these numbers together. So for example, I've done it here for you. Uh, 6 pounds times 1,550 plus 10 pounds times 3,100 plus 4 pounds 50 times 4,450. When you add up all of these three together, you get 60,325 pounds. So this would be the current daily revenue for Flower Park. Our question asks, um, if the Flower Park raises entrance fee by 5%, what would be the additional revenue? So these prices here would have been increased by 5% and they want us to work out what the additional revenue would be. Now just a quick recap of uh, percentages. 5% is simply 5 over 100 as a fraction, which is equivalent to 0 0.05 as a decimal. So an increase of 5% is just an increase of 0 0.05. So all you have to do is do 1 plus 0 0.05, which will give you 1.05. So if you wanted to work out a 5% increase of the current daily revenue, if you wanted to work out a 5% increase of £60,325, all you have to do is 60325 times 1.05, because this is a 5% increase, and that would give you £63,341.25. To work out the additional daily revenue, all you have to do is subtract these two numbers from one another. So you do £63,341.25, minus £60,325 and that will give you £3,016.25 so our answer is 3016 A quicker way of solving this problem would be just to work out 5% of the current daily revenue. 5% um, of the current daily revenue would simply be this equation here. So you just do 0 0.05 times these terms here and that will give you £3,016.25. So in the test, I would recommend all you do is just type this into your calculator straight away. Be careful and make sure you put the double brackets in the correct place and these brackets in the right places or your answer will be incorrect. Okay, so in the test, because you'll be short on time, I recommend just type this into your calculator. I went through this method here with you just to help you understand because I know a lot of you would be struggling with percentages and how to work out percentage increases and decreases. That's why I went through this slightly longer method just to teach you. But in the test, I recommend you solve it like this, as this is the quickest method. If you have any questions, do let me know in the comments below. If you would like to see more videos like this, do give us a like and subscribe.